hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl amara and i am back at it again with another video as you can see in the title below this video is going to be a video addressing the things you need to know before coming into christian university this will be for the freshers mainly i decided to make this video because while going through youtube i realized that there were give or take three videos on that and we all know that when you're about to come into a university you would love to go on social media to see what people are saying or to just get information about the school and that is where i come in please make sure you like comment share and subscribe please subscribe do it now like this video now i'll wait Cool. and to make this more fun especially for my girlies i'm going to be applying makeup while doing it it's been a, a while since i applied makeup last and that would be in my dinner night vlog i posted you can go through my channel if you want to see that video but without further ado let's get into the video <laughs> First of all, I'm just going to use my mascara brush to comb my eyebrows, just make it neat. The first thing you need to know before coming into Christian University is, you know, the basic necessities. You have to come with your white or neko or GCE results and you have to also come with your jam results and before you get admitted, you go through a series of not not serious but like a couple of screening and you're definitely going to write um the post utme examination and the screening is literally just um a subtle interview asking about you know who you are if you're on drugs if you few questions based on the courses you are applying to study for in Christian University. I just filled in my brows with the eye pencil, the brown one, because the dark one just makes it look loud. And I'm going to be using this uh, mascara brush to just brush it out and make it look more natural. And now I'm going to go in with my concealer to outline it and make it neater and appealing to the eyes feel me okay so before i do that let me let me say another um thing you need to know before coming into christian university <laughs> dressing the theme word if there's anything like that the theme word for the dressing in christian university is moderacy to classes moderate corporate outfits for both male and female for the female you know your blouse and your skirt is you should not wear any dress or outfit that goes above your knees you should not wear any outfits that would show your armpits you can also wear um corporate trousers your yeah, trousers are allowed to classes definitely not jeans trousers corporate trousers and your top or your corporate gowns and the shoes you cannot wear sandals no palms corporate shoes yeah make sure it's covering your toes and your heels and for the guys you must wear a tie you know your shirt your belt your trousers and your corporate shoes and of course your dressing includes your hair so for the females you cannot wear colored hair your hair or when you want to like add attachments should be black or brown and the brown is specifically color 33 for my girlies you understand what i'm saying and your hair is supposed to be at shoulder length and for the guys your hair should not be rough it should be neatly barbed neatly shaved your beards are not allowed you cannot keep your beards the dreads are not allowed for the guys either you must just look good you feel me ties are compulsory for the guys you can they can stop you from writing your exams if you're not wearing your tie and your dressing is incomplete without your id card you literally pay a fine if you're found outside without your id card 
around your neck if it's inside your bag they will still question you so on your neck so i'm done with the eyebrows i don't really like it i don't really think it's equal but i'm tired because to be very honest i already cleaned one and i withdrew it and i'm not going to do that again so i'm just going to kind of blend this out i'll blend the concealer out i use this brush another thing you need to know about Queensland university is you know about the accommodation for the accommodation there are two hostels the female and the male hostel they are actually apart let's say not that far but like two minutes walk apart and for the female hostel there are three bunk beds in each and a toilet and there are chairs and beds and a fan a ceiling fan and you are allowed to bring in electronics into the hostels electronics like your iron your electric kettle you can also bring ring lights as you can see i'm making my video with the ring light so um what colors do you think i should use you guys I decided to choose orange and I think it's kind of given and for the hostels the boys are not allowed in the girls hostels and the girls are not allowed in the boys hostel I think I think that's all I'm gonna do so next I'm going to go in with my eyeliner because I love eyeliners you guys Now, I'm usually scared to apply eyeliner because you know that eyeliner is a very, very outrageous, risky item when you're applying the makeup because any wrong move, hey, God, God, please, God, please, okay, let's do this, we got this, yeah. Okay, I think, I think, I think, I think it's giving something, it's... <laughs> Perfecto. I'm going in with my foundation. So I'm just going to put dot, 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 dot. And I'm going to be using this brush to blend it in. And before I go into that, let me just go into another thing you need to know about Christland University. I think that's too long for me to keep on saying, but okay, whatever. Classes are compulsory. And if you want to say, oh, you're a stubborn person, you're not going to go for classes attendance is usually taken in every class and for you to be eligible to write examinations in Christian university you have to have at least 75 percent attendance when we are going into every examination we have this exam card that we carry the attendance from each classes are usually imprinted in the exam card the secret to every good looking makeup is to make sure you blend blend righteously blend appropriately i love going in with my beauty blender to just it just blends it well so i do not really like using concealer all over here just highlights yeah so i use a shade that is lighter that do not mind the state of my powder palette please overlook it thank you and this one fell off one day i was so sad this fell off i just used a powder shade that is lighter than my complexion around here and here and maybe on the bridge of my nose and the darker ones around here you know chapel service is compulsory on sundays yeah i think that is really taken so we are supposed to go for chapel services every sunday and trust me chapel services are usually fun you know going to praise the lord in your beautiful outfit and yeah and also you can also wear makeup actually everything in person in rest is all about modricity i already said that before so you can wear makeup you can wear your heels sneakers whatever outfit you want wednesday assemblies are also compulsory it's just like students staff teaching and non-teaching the management coming together at the hall or the market to meet and they're usually events like talks seminars symposiums i don't really like it when it's too much you just a moderate amount about the food 
so there are usually there are canteens and there is the cafeteria where you can buy food the types of food that are available you know rice beans spaghetti yeah, pasta coleslaw porridge and potato and stew there are snacks to spring rolls samosa and puff puff shawarma i don't know why my mind is not really going towards what we usually have yeah there's noodles too bread and egg and food is not allowed into the hostel you cannot take the food into the hostel but there are some certain foods that are allowed you can bring your provisions into the hostel by the way your cereals and everything gary i beg groceries is very necessary for life yeah you can bring granite uh, for the granite you can't take in sharp objects like scissors are not allowed blades and no breakable bottles glasses are not allowed in mirrors are allowed in you can't cook in the hostel either the foods that you can bring into the hostel you can bring in bread and egg you can bring in the snacks like the pop puff and the spring rolls and all that when you go to the cafeteria and the canteen to buy food the feeding fee is not added to your school fee so you bring in money from your pocket to buy your foods my lips combo first of all i go in with my lipstick Trust the process, trust, <laughs> trust the process, chill, I'm not done. Powder. Another thing you need to know, you cannot leave the school premises. It is a private university, so you cannot step outside of the school premises, except you get an exit. An exit is usually issued out, I think, thrice in a session. So an exit is like this. It's not like a form, but I'm just going to call it a form that you collect that gives you the permission to go outside of the school premises for a period of time. Oh my god, I think I love it. It is giving what it's supposed to give. So I'm just going to put a little bit of bronzer. I do not like like extra bronzer, but I love putting like at this part of my eyebrow, then here and you know. The normal pieces and of course the cheeks. Okay. I hope it's not just me that gets excited when the makeup is coming along and it's giving, it's giving something good. <laughs> Phones and gadgets are allowed. At a point, it was a necessity for you to bring laptops where you can actually save your documents and your files in your phones. And there are actually school facilities like the gym, but for the gym you have to pay for a membership. I think it's like two thousand or three thousand. There's a store, it's called the Talk Shop, and we also have a unisex salon where you can make your hair or barb your hair for the guys. We all know that life is better with lip gloss, so I can I just love lip gloss, guys. don't play it gives this beautiful glow another thing you need to know there are actually parties and events dinner nights and chapel events where they invite ministers students week is really fun too and yeah those are the ones that i can remember for now but there are actually parties and events when it is right i think i'm done with my look Giving. let me just um say the last two that i have um there's a coffee yeah firstly the time speculated for us to go out is i think around 6 30 you can leave the hostel from 6 30 a.m or 7 in case you want to like have morning runs and all that yeah 6 30 a.m and the whole corporate outfit thing ends at 5 p.m so after 5 p.m you're allowed to wear whatever outfit you want around the school premises and the coffee like the night time it's usually 10 pm or they would lock the gate and for the examinations and tests it's usually um written so yeah obj or you know this stuff cool stuff and i think that that's all i have if you're someone with the intent of becoming a Christian university student and you have more questions, please put it in the comment section below. Make sure to answer you. And if you're a Christian student watching this and you think that there are some things that I did not add, put it in the comment section below. And let me go change and just do some some cute girl things.
this is coming from a 200 level student going to 300 level i am a nursing student in Queensland university and i hope you enjoyed this video please make sure to subscribe like comment and share bye